2010 is the year the first affordable plug-in vehicles hit the U.S. market. The Chevy Volt will be out in November, followed by the Nissan Leaf in December. Both are billed as zero emission vehicles in battery mode while running. But the electricity has to come from somewhere, and in most places around the country, that source is the non-renewable fossil fuel, coal. LA has pledged to generate 35% of its electricity with renewables by 2020, but that's not a whole lot and it's still a long ways away. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking the same thing as I am. Why wait for an institution when you can buy an electric car and power it with self-generated solar? That's what I've been doing for the last week, to see if the math works out and to understand the best way to go about it. The federal government and local utilities are offering some pretty outstanding rebates for going solar that can cut the price down by as much as half. My 1.2 kilowatt system cost $11,564, but I only paid $5,366 out of pocket. The best time to charge an electric car, even if you're making the electricity yourself, is not during the day, it's at night, during off-peak hours, which in LA are between 8 p.m. and 10 a.m. weekdays and on weekends. I bought my rooftop solar system a year ago because I wanted to do what I'm testing here. I wanted to buy an electric car and charge it off my solar. But here's what I learned. An electric car will require an extra 0.79 kilowatt hours worth of panels, which at current rates and incorporating all available rebates will cost an extra two grand. Also, you should buy the car first because many utility rebates are based on current, not future, electricity use. Finally, it pays to wait because the cost of solar has plummeted from May 2009 when I first signed my solar contract to December 2009 when my system finally got up and running, prices had fallen more than 20%. I unfortunately paid the May rate. Basically, it cost me an extra 1500 bucks to be an early adopter, and I couldn't even oversize my system because I couldn't afford it without the benefit of the rebate. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.